Hello everyone. If you're anything like me, then you're probably constantly checking your GoPro camera to see if you remember to hit that record button before every flight. Did I hit the record button? I did, all right. Oh, I did start it. Well, today I wanna to show you a new feature that just might make this a thing of the past. So GoPro recently released a new feature that lets you set up your GoPro to automatically start recording whenever the GoPro senses that it's moving. And so it uses the built-in gyro and accelerometers to determine that the camera's in motion, not just sensing when there's motion in front of the, the lens or the, the sensor. And depending on your settings, it can also have it automatically stop recording when it senses that it's not moving anymore. To get this new feature, you must have a GoPro Hero 7, 8, or 9, or GoPro Hero Black 7, 8, or 9. And you have to install the special new uh, GoPro Labs firmware onto the camera. But luckily, the installation of the Labs firmware is pretty simple. You really just download the updated firmware, stick it on the SD card for the camera, put the SD card in the camera, power up the camera, it'll detect that there's no new firmware on the SD card, automatically install it for you, and everything's set. Now that you have the latest GoPro Labs firmware installed, you have to use a QR code to enable the IMU camera motion detection settings. And to do that, you can either use the GoPro website or there are some apps people have written for popular cell phones. And I don't think GoPro has any official app for doing this, so you'll have to find one that you don't think is too sketchy and use that. I'm sure they work great. So once you adjust the settings to your liking, you turn on the camera, point it at the barcode, and it'll beep, letting you know that it has recognized the barcode and will tell you when it's gonna take effect and you can adjust how much delay there is between scanning the barcode and when it's gonna do the motion detection to automatically start recording. And these, settings will stay in place until you power off the camera. So how well does this work for my FPV drone? Well, it works pretty good, actually. I did four flights with the GoPro set this way, and it automatically started each time I took off and automatically stopped every time I landed. Um, it also never stopped recording mid-flight, so even when I was flying fairly smooth or fairly slowly, so I guess my initial guesses as to how sensitive it should be were correct. And it, it makes sense. The drone's not that smooth. The GoPro can definitely tell it's still in motion the entire time. As a comparison, I have also had my DJI FPV goggles set to record every time I arm the drone. And looking at the footage between the DJI um, DVR and the GoPro recordings, um, they both recorded roughly the same amount of time. Uh, the first flight, they both started recording at almost exactly the same second. Second, third, fourth fl or flights, um, one would start a little bit before the other. Usually the GoPro was just a hair behind. And sometimes the GoPro would record a little bit longer after landing because the DJI stops as soon as I hit the disarm button, which I usually disarm a little bit before I land. So that makes sense too. But overall, um, it worked just as you would expect it automatically started recording right before you took off, right as you took off, and automatically stopped recording right as you landed, which is exactly the parts of the flight that I want to record. Now, there are a couple of annoying downsides to using the GoPro this way. First, I have to scan that barcode every time I turn the GoPro on. And second, every time I change the battery on my drone, so battery's dead, I land, and I pick it up to take the battery off and put a new one on, the GoPro senses the motion, and automatically records, usually records me just for a minute inside my car as I'm swapping out the batteries. Um, that's not a deal breaker, even though it is slightly annoying. So my final thoughts, uh, I'm not sure if I'll continue to use this feature or not. Sure, it's pretty handy to automatically have it set to record every flight, so I won't forget it, but I'm thinking <clears throat> remembering, to scanning, remembering to scan the barcode is probably just as hard for me to do as it is just to remember to hit the record button before every flight. So, yeah, and the extra recordings of me swapping out the batteries is slightly annoying too, but I can deal with that. That's not a big de deal breaker or anything. I can just delete them off the SD card and not use them, of course, right? But I'm currently thinking that maybe the best solution for me would be to buy a GoPro remote, which I actually have a really old GoPro remote here like this one, 
But I think this only works on a GoPro Hero 3, maybe a Hero 4, but it definitely doesn't work with the GoPro 8 or 9 or any of the new GoPros like that. So what do you think? Is this a feature you guys would use? Uh, if you have used it, do you like it? Uh, will you continue to use it? Uh, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.